Well, the Cameron Peak wildfire has grown to more than 124,000 acres. Nearly 20,000 acres of that is new growth over the weekend. Jacqueline Quinn talked to an area resident who can see the fire edge closer to his home. After heavy smoke and ash coming down yesterday, some of the residents I talked with around here are relieved somewhat that today wasn't another repeat and they are looking for this cooler weather to quell the fire. We hope it doesn't happen every year, but I mean, <laughs> yeah, we love it up here. We're staying forever. Greg Deschner and his wife Sarah Beth live in Glacier View Meadows, and they have spent nearly a season living under a cloud of smoke. It was black everywhere. I mean, you couldn't see that mountain right there, literally. It was, even the houses were getting foggy down there. As winds whipped Saturday, the Cameron Peak fire once again roared back up, burning about 12,000 acres in a day, leaving residents like the Deschners unsure if they had to pack up their things and evacuate. It was our second day of red flag warnings in a row. And so we had really high sustained winds with wind gusts of up to 65 miles an hour. There were several confirmed structures damaged along Manhattan Road, but the Cameron Peak Incident Management Team says it's not yet safe for the team to access that area. Homeowners are expected to be notified as soon as possible. All of the trees uh, were pretty much wiped out. I believe it was 12 years ago. I might be wrong on that um, when a fire came through. And it doesn't look like that much has grown back. That's why the Deschners hope they'll be okay, but are prepared to leave if they have to. Well, we figure we can see about 20 miles from here, so if it gets close enough, we'll, we'll definitely head out. And we called the Larimer Sheriff's Office, and they said that there are no new evacuations. For now, the fire is contained to 25%. Reporting in Larimer County, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, covering Colorado First.